I've never owned a Nintendo Famicom, but I've wanted to get one for a while now, and to be honest, I haven't gotten around to getting one yet. But when one of my subscribers messaged me and asked me if I had one, I had to say no, for which he said, you do now. He had found one and wanted me to put it in the Bliss Cave. How generous was that? The only thing was, he wasn't sure if it worked, but if not, he wanted me to bring it back to life. So let's unbox this thing and see what we have. Now at first glance when seeing the Famicom, it looked in really good shape, although it looked somewhat yellow. They are somewhat beige anyway, but it was a little more so. So it came with an RF cable and power adapter. I already have an RF adapter and a really nice RF cable, so I'm going to use that. So let's hook it up. Here we go. Well, looky there. Right out of the box, man. Looks pretty good to me. All right, let's check out the controller. Okay. Select button works pretty good. Start works. Jump works. Fireworks. So there was yellowing on the console and I didn't video the process, but I took some isopropyl alcohol in a separate process of magic eraser, I brightened up the console quite a bit. The label on the front even has the factory film on it. This thing looks good now. So while the controller worked, the buttons and D-pad were mushy. So I decided to buy these replacement pads for the controllers. They're the same pads for the NES. So let's put them in.
Now that's the way the buttons on the D-pad are supposed to feel. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's play some video games. So there it is, my first Famicom, thanks to a generous subscriber. His name is Mr. Bassman, and for good reason. He's an excellent bass player, and I've shared him on the channel a few times over the last few months. Not only is he an awesome bass player, he's an awesome guy. If you'd like to check out Mr. Bassman, be sure to check out this video all the way until the end. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for more retro gaming content. Thanks for watching, and thank you Mr. Bassman for this awesome Famicom.